Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to CBS Sports coverage of the NCAA tournament. Today's game is between the Memphis Tigers and, and of course, I do know that Florida Atlantic and Fairline Dickinson had beaten Purdue and Memphis in the first rounds, but this is the simulation of the entire tournament where we don't care about what happens in real life. We're just simulating each and every game. So that's why we have Purdue and Memphis here.
coming inside. Position for the ball screen now. Up and in. Ha -ha! A great trap initiated by the defense. Around a minute remaining. Shots off. It's fine. Out on the way. Put a little English on it. Ball handler may be in a bit of trouble, Rat. Pushes it. Shots off. Pulls it down. Shots up. the key. No. And let's see. Look at that block. Terrific. He missed it. Stay tuned for the road to the final four. And a good look at the team stats for both teams. Here's a look at how both teams are doing with their keys to the game. He tries the three. 
misses from long range. Out on the left wing. We are at the two-minute mark. Doesn't get much better than this in NCAA tournament basketball. The whole first half, the second half has been much the same. And Bill, I've got a punch that is going to come down to the final three positions. God, this is a close one, guys. I think the last few possessions are going to dictate who moves on and who goes home. And he can't hit the shot. On the wing. Rap, if the butterflies aren't going right now, there's something wrong with you. This one can go either way, Gus. Who's going to step up and make the big play? These close games are part of the reason why I got out of coaching. The tension is just too much. Unbearable. You've got to love it, Gustavo. Just over a minute to go and a huge block by Zach Eady. Pittsburgh finding them, or not Pittsburgh, Purdue finding themselves up by five here. Memphis cut it to one, but Purdue is on a current 4 0 run. One minute to go. Memphis has to hurry. They can't be lollygagging too much. I mean, they want to set up a good shot, but they can't be taking too long to do it. For three. Oh, they found him on the three. Uh oh. Purdue found Memphis on a three. Knocks down the second one to take advantage of all three here. Let's see if he can do it. And he does. Memphis now has to focus on getting a stop. Oh no, a three. Doesn't connect. Memphis comes up with the rebound with the chance to tie or take the lead. They go for the lead. Splash! What a comeback by Memphis. Down by five. Got fouled on a three. Hit them all. Then just hit a three. Oh, and a bad pass. And a turnover by Blue. What a turn of events here in the final minute of the game. Now Purdue has to intentionally foul. Holy crap, what a turn of events. This is insane. Braden Smith fouls out. I mean, Purdue will have a chance because at max it's going to be a three-point game. But man, Purdue just fumbling the bag here in the second half. And yet another stoppage. 14 seconds to go. At the line, Kendrick Davis has not missed a free throw today. Looking to get in double-digit scoring. Davis is a good free throw shooter and will likely knock down his free throw attempt. Knocks down the first one. This one to make it a three-point lead with 14 seconds to go. Knocks it down. Purdue takes a timeout. Uh-oh. All right, Purdue, talk things over. Let's see what they drew up. Got to go fast. Memphis on an 8 run. Zach Eady for three. Oh, he got it. Holy crap. It rimmed in. Holy crap. All right, Memphis, after Purdue tied it up. Let's see if they can move on to the Sweet 16 and not force overtime. Lomax with it. Looking to use a pick and roll. Good drive. Contact. No foul call. Doesn't connect. We have overtime here in the last game of the round of 32. It's Ten minutes wasn't enough. And we are in what a time. shot by Zach Eady. Look, doink, doink, doink. Somehow got it to fall. That was crazy.
All right, so the game ended up actually freezing in between the end of regulation and overtime, but we know that it was tied. We know that we have five minutes of the overtime period, so I just restarted this game, and we are just going to play out this first half here, the five minutes of the overtime period, to see who will move on to the Sweet 16 in this simulation. Two and a half minutes to go for a spot to the Sweet 16 on the line. Not able to connect there. Memphis currently in the lead, looking to extend it. 218, 217 to go. Purdue. While they still. Oh, contact, no foul call. Purdue hangs on. Matt Painter saying they want to win these last two minutes. Of course they do. They got a strip to the Sweet 16 on the line. Looking to use the pick and roll. Taking it back up. In the corner. Down low to Edie. Contact heading to the line. Ultimately, it's going to come down to who is going to play tougher at the defensive end and rebound the ball. Zach Edie at the line. After hitting that huge three in the regular game to force overtime. Clutch free throws here with less than two minutes to go. Misses the second one. Takes the pass in the face. Heading to the line. Foul on Mason Gillis. Here's another solid junior build. Elijah McKayden at the line. Knocks down the first one. Knocks down the second one too. Nine to seven. What will Purdue do here on this offensive possession? Way out on the right way. Edie rises fires. Doesn't connect. Grab the rebound. The Tigers are doing a great job of controlling the pace of this game. I'll tell you, if you make the opposition play, your pace it can really get them out of their comfort zone. 
Purdue not going to lose Memphis hangs on to it, finding a good pass down low. Puts it up and in. Four point lead. One minute to go here in this makeshift overtime period. Due to the game freezing. Not able to connect. Purdue trying to move on to the Sweet 16 here to face Tennessee. Or Memphis trying to advance on to face Tennessee. I think I might have said Purdue. For three. Splash! And that will likely do it. Timeout taken by Purdue. All right, Purdue, after talking things over, can they make up seven points in 43 seconds? Memphis had made up five points. Look, it's a 10 to 1 run lately. Down low to Edie, rises, fires, knocks it down. Now they just got to get some stops. Bad pass. There you go, Purdue. Pushing the ball up the floor. But of course, this makeshift over. Oh, they turned the ball over anyway. I was going to say maybe the makeshift overtime period thing had screwed them over. But they turned the ball over anyway. Memphis puts it up and in. And Memphis will advance to the Sweet 16 to face Tennessee. Oh, poor shot by 80. Falls short. So there we have it. Memphis in this. My game ended up freezing, so I had to do this as the overtime period. But Memphis going to advance on to the Sweet 16 here. And just a crazy game. Crazy shot by Edie to even force overtime. But Memphis hangs on. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you all later.